definitely going to, to be prizes for people that, that want to have them. And then also, um, as you all know, I, I run a full service production uh, company in Florida. Uh, we are actually giving away some, some complimentary graphics for your business. So um, that, that will um, also help, I think. Okay. Yeah, and she, she did an amazing uh, logo for us for our awards, which is tomorrow. So, uh, Dr. Shelley, we're so excited to launch that um, logo. So, thank you for that. Yes. Um, you are so welcome, Elizabeth. It was my pleasure. And I just want to see you see you all skyrocket to the moon. And you will. I have no doubt. Okay. 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 Thank you. Well, all right, all right. well, let me let's do this. I want to do a reflection on what we've covered so far. So, everybody can uh, make sure they look out for the book. Uh, and that kind of thing. And so, um, uh, and then uh, just, to, just to do a hash up because the, the second half of the day is gonna be really, oh, it's gonna get amazing. You're gonna really yes. get things from it. That's just outstanding. First, I wanna go through uh, with, uh, we we heard from Dr. John Putalili and he wrote the book, uh, uh, Eat, True Live. Uh, and uh, he, oh, amazing impacts on talks about um, insulin res resistance and uh, and how that leads to diabetes. And um, he talked about, and the simple definition was when our bodies don't turn glucose sugar into energy, then it is determined to be insulin resistance. resistance. So the body doesn't manage insulin very well and the pancreas overproduces insulin. And that's what leads to diabetes or high states of cholesterol. It also leads to uh, obesity, uh, high blood pressure, uh, and, uh, and 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 uh, and those type type two diabetes. Okay. I think he's muted. I think you'll be pleased with his book. And and then we heard from Kevin Kersky. He wrote the book Life 2.0. Uh, which talks about his experience uh, by taking a the cardiac calcium scan and uh, how it's changed his life. And he's got another shot of, of living a, a more eventful and beneficial life and time with his family and how grateful he is for it. And so we think that's, that's amazing. And then we heard from Jerry Baker, who is a uh, life um, uh, fitness um, supplemental mind. Uh, he has. Uh, he works with Shackley, uh, and Shackley uh, provides a series of supplements, nutrients, and uh, body um, de protecting uh, uh, minerals. That um, is, an, is it beneficial in a way that we can't imagine because Shackley has been able to determine that there's some supplements that your body will receive when you have the right combination. Of, of the supplements in your system. And that's why it works so well. Okay, very good. And now uh, and we've just heard from Dr. Shelly Plum and she's given us a, an enormous perspective on, you know, uh, uh, balance, uh, preventing your break, knowing the break or bounce, you know, break or bounce. And she's the author of that. And, and she gave us so much energy about that and, and a perspective of what things will look like when you find the, the, the right combination uh, of procedures to bounce with. And so we, of course, heard from other people like Brian D'Souza and Kennedy Samuel. From, they're from India. And uh, it's a, what time is it there? It must be, what, about uh, 10 o'clock? Or not, no, 10.30. 1030. Okay, very good, very good, very good. Okay, so now the second half of the day is going to be outstanding. Do you believe it's going to be great? Come on, come on, raise your hand. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. <laughs> now, when I started the day with you, I said, this is going to be a, a great life beneficial. Something great is going to happen today. Something great is going to happen in you, for you, and through you. And that you will discover something that you never thought you'd be able to discover before. So, so we are excited for you. And uh, we have we're going to hear from uh, 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 Mrs. Uh, Putnam. We're going to hear from hear from Mrs. Putnam. She'll tell us about uh, Alzheimer's, and she has uh, background experiences 
with uh, uh, Alzheimer's. And uh, Elton, Elton, let me uh, let me do this part. Uh, hold okay. on, let me do this I'll part. Do okay. <laughs> okay. So uh, Elton gave a wonderful wrap up. I think of this morning. Does anybody have any questions? Uh, Dr. Shelley, please put in the chat where we can buy your book. Okay. We are we are promoting her book, and if you were impressed as I was, then uh, you must buy this book. It's amazing. It's also a great giveaway if you know someone that lost a dear one uh, and they need to bounce back, or someone is going through a loss. It's a great gift. Um, it's a beautiful book, and I, I can share it with you. If you have a copy to show us on the screen, I have a copy, but I have to get mine. Get to it. Yeah, there you go. Brian has a copy. Do you see that? The yeah. Next, the next half of the yep. no, yep. next half. Okay, I'm going to get you the yep. link, too, so that you have yep. it. Get, get us the link. Um, also, we're giving away Dr. Shelley Plum's book. So thank you, thank you for being so generous. We're getting, you're getting two prizes from her. One is a gift certificate for her video production, and she'll tell you about that when you win. And one is for, and all of you book authors, everybody's doing social media, graphic design is very important. So you're getting something for free. So pay attention. This is a very expensive gift. I think it's $200 value, so yeah. Uh, so this is this is very good, yeah. And and I will show the video, um, the the graphic that she did for us um, tomorrow. So tomorrow's the awards, and the winner, da 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 da, drum roll is Carol Brown. Carol, she always wins our prizes. <laughs> Yay. So. Since you go first, Carol, would you like the book or would you like the gift certificate? The book, definitely the book. Okay. Okay. Yes. So, so make sure that we, I, I can give her address to you or you can put it in the chat, whichever one you prefer. Um, so, so, so Carol Brown gets the book. Drum roll. And this is for the graphic. Logo, uh, Jerry, Jerry, but and he's the right person because Jerry actually is uh, um, doing um, the owner of, a he's channel. The owner, he's the owner of Tint, uh, Tint Entertainment Network. Oh. Tint Entertainment. So he's perfect for you. He's perfect for you. He's launching a channel on YouTube. So that's awesome. Oh, I can't you guys wait. are going to have an Amazing time. Jerry, Jerry, are you on? I can see he's on, but he's probably walked away. All okay. right. So Jerry and Carol, congratulations. Okay. Earlier this morning, earlier this morning, I Doreen. I did all right. We're moving forward, please. <laughs> I know, but Doreen was the winner. Doreen was the winner of Kevin's book. Okay. So congratulations. And Gila, who we're still waiting on from Israel, she says she's coming back, uh, won the book for Dr. John. So as I said, stay tuned. We're giving things away at every single session. So please, please make a note. So please congratulate our winners for our morning session. And now um, the afternoon, as Elton said, is gonna be exceptional. Uh, we're going to start at one o'clock and I, I need the break because I have to get the videos and everything up because tomorrow we're going to be doing on demand and I have to load all the videos on the website. So before my computer crashes, as you know, data, but if you guys want to stay on and just network while I'm loading videos, that's fine. But we reopen at one o'clock and at one o'clock we have Rainy York. How many of you have heard Rainy York? Okay, Rainy is an amazing. She's a Reiki master, for those of you who don't know what Reiki is. Um, and she is doing a, a whole workshop. So it, it's something that normally would cost you in the thousands. And so she's doing this whole workshop for free. So it's really important that you attend. But the panel that's joining her is equally exciting. We have a tarot card reader. I know some of us are spiritual and we don't believe in, in reading the future. But she's going to come and interpret dreams 
So, so Kevin, the dream about the angel with the wings and the, the imageries that we're used to, and she's actually going to show us some amazing graphics and everything. And so all those questions that we were all confused about, she's going to answer them. And then we have a whole lot of wellness coaches, certified coaches, authors of books joining that panel. So if you want to meet people, sell books to network, get to know bigger networks than mine and yours and get on their Facebook channels, that is the session to join. Next, after that, at one o'clock, we have a book a publisher. So if any of you want to republish your book or any of you want to write your first book, he's going to teach you how to launch a book. So if any one of you have thought about writing a book but don't know how to write a book, he's going to be there, and that's Rick's session at 2 o'clock. Now, right after Rick, we have an outstanding panel to support him. And then, Doreen, since you're here, why don't you tell us about your session at 3 o'clock? Hi everyone. Um, I'm going. I'm a, a certified dementia practitioner. I've been working in the field for over 25 years. Uh, what I'm going to do with you today is to present uh, present information that's just basic information about Alzheimer's disease and dementia. The difference between the two, because they're not the same, and many people assume that they are. We're going to look at some statistics. Uh, from the US uh, as well as worldwide. And uh, I'm going to talk with you about some of the commonalities of the different types of dementia, as well as dementias that we work with in the field that you may not even realize are forms of dementia. And then the last thing we're gonna look at are 10 warning signs, things that you can be aware of, um, whether it's for yourself or you have a relative or a friend that might be showing one of these warning signs that um, means you need to question a little bit more about what's happening. So that's what we're going to be doing. So I'm excited about it and looking forward to it. And we have an amazing the word, uh, Elizabeth, can I, can I just say something? Yes, yes, you can. Okay, something, you know, what Kevin was saying, and I just thought I should add something in the two things I would like to, you know, conclude with. One is my personal experience. This happened on the 31st December of 2013. So I had a sort of a condition and we had to go in for something like an angiography. You know? But when I was in that, in that trance, you know, waiting for things to happen, I heard uh, a verse from the Bible which said, every hair of your head is counted and you're going to be going home soon. You know? And I said, okay, that's a very good message. I heard three other voices of God which told me, you know, I've written your name on the palm of my hand. Okay. As, the, as the docs were preparing me for the angiography, uh, the doctor on duty was stuck up in a traffic jam in Pune on that day, 31st of December, obviously. There's going to be a lot of traffic jams. And I was just thinking, you know, I could have chosen another hospital, you know. And again, the same voice told me, the time and the hand are chosen by me. So I just lay there, I started talking to the technicians, I relaxed. And, you know, the angioplasty, uh, just to give you all, happened on 3rd of Jan of 2014. And I was waiting again on the same time. And they said it's going to be at around 2 o'clock. The clock kept ticking. And for some reason, there were some delays. And again, I heard the voice that I have chosen the time for you. And that was the first Friday. And at 3 o'clock, I always say a small prayer. And as the angioplasty was going on, I was told I have got a new heart. You know? And ever since that day until today, I just, I, I don't worry. You know? I just let go. Because I know every hair, though there's less hair today, but every hair on my head is counted. God written my name, Kennedy, on the palm of his hand. And why do I worry? You know, so that, that, that's the way I live. Money, business, sales, uh, it's, all, it's all part and parcel of us being over here. So I'll just, I'll just let you all to, you know, think on these lines. Just this evening, one of my old, old friends sent me a message. And uh, it's, 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 from a, it's from a very great poet called Rumi. I hope, I hope somebody, uh, some of you all may know this name, Rumi. But those are the first lines I'll just read out. This message came on WhatsApp. I just 
chew upon it you know it's like it goes on it is only a tiny rose bud a flower of god's design but i as in as in all humans but i cannot unfold the petals with these clumsy hands of mine the secret of unfolding flowers is not known to such as i god opens this flower so sweetly when in my hands they fade and die and this is the last punch line if i cannot unfold a rose bud this flower of god's design then how can i think i have wisdom to unfold this life of mine wow, very nice. wow. Very that's beautiful so send it to us so we can yeah, share definitely. that poem with definitely. everybody definitely. yes and so that's what i want to say you know before me and brian probably i'm going to be signing off now get get back to my bed so you know uh, i i say things to myself when i'm meditating and i'm doing breathing techniques teaching my clients to breathe you know sometimes i just get a message you know i am living in my mind with beautiful people and i just open my eyes and i tell who so was there i'm living in my mind with beautiful people <laughs> beautiful so we yeah. living my mind with beautiful people yeah. wow now yeah. i have a very busy person on jerry burke and he's coming in on 4:30 to so jerry i oh, you won a prize by the way while you were out <laughs> uh so congratulations so we'll connect you to dr shelly okay. so Je- jerry please introduce yourself and um, tell us about the session we're going to have at 4:30 yeah thank you so much claire um my name is jerry bird as she said and i'm going to be speaking at 4:30 and my topic is your most so much uh you know if you're in the financial area uh, you're in business uh it's all about roi it's all about the margin about profitability and everything that you do um and so much of the language directs your attention to investing and in, but i'm going to speak for uh my time about investing in yourself. And so much of what I'm going to talk about it'll be a summary of what you guys have spoken about already uh is just somehow some of the things that I've heard already I'm I'm in the right place uh with the right group uh we're resonating with the same kind of uh of, of ideas and strategies. So I'll give you five things that for me make up my package of this most important investment which is investing in yourself because if i can create the right amount of value in myself then i'm able to create value out in the marketplace uh, for others i'm i'm able to add more value to the experience of others i'm, I'm able to create uh, propositions that uh have value with uh embedded in them so that people will want to at least listen to listen to what i'm offering uh listen to the solutions that I have and so for me uh being in a lot of different businesses over the years uh it, it all boils down to this notion of investing in yourself so that's what I'm going to be talking about uh your most important investment and that investment is in yourself so that's what I'll be talking about very good very good thank wow, you wow i can't wait and jerry okay. really has amazing uh thing and uh, okay. so we always uh everybody has a mission in life so some yeah. people are fighting for a mission for cancer some are for diabetes some are for cardiovascular elton and my mission is jobs and business we feel that if families can put food on their tables have jobs and income that are thriving that they can be spiritual they can live the full life we're not saying that you worship money but we're just saying that people like to have respect people like to have the opportunity to work people like to feel important and when there's no opportunity it brings sadness and darkness so our mission in life is to create jobs and business so that's why in every single of the 11 conferences that we will have this year there will be a 
a part of the conference that will focus on just that. So even if you're a book author or you're doing uh, makeup or you're selling jewelry or whatever it is, the business you're in, you need customers, you need a sales pipeline, you need the interaction. And this is why we are doing what we're doing. So these are very, Jerry's session is part of the business session uh, series. We have the end of the conference is going to be outstanding. We have a group of sports medicine and fitness coaches coming uh, as a group to us. And we're going to have a round table about where are the jobs, where is the business for health and wellness in America. So if you are looking for a job or you're looking for business or you're looking for ideas how to grow your networks, this is the conf- this is the round table of course if you're busy and everything we will have it on on demand so you can watch the episode if you missed it but we have this outstanding now these guys are watchdogs okay. they have yeah. criticized advertising they know everything so you want to watch it and renee is another fitness coach um and i'm going to see if we can try and get that video going renee uh, and then I have Priscilla, and Priscilla, I don't know if I put you on the spot, but do you have some jewelry to show, um, or if you want to wait for the next round? Uh, so Priscilla always delights us with some amazing stuff. So okay. uh, Elton, back to you, but I have Renee and uh, Priscilla after you. Okay, so we're, we're eating into the lunchtime, so I want you all to step away. But before I do that, I do need to share this with you. Now, as you know, Daniel, scriptural, discussed with us or came to an interpretation of dreams. And so that may be an area that you don't like to explore, or consider, or evaluate. But I think that it's important that when, and you, you need to know that while we're asleep, God speaks to us. God speaks to us. He shares with us important facts and data to experience. And our lives are based on experiences. What we find, we meet, what we share, what we're able to see and show. And so it wouldn't, it's up, it's, and it's God's relevance that he wants us to know everything and all the time. So I, I want to encourage you to come back for uh, our presentation on that and also to think on the prospects of writing a book with Rick, uh, 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 our uh, publisher. So I'm going to break. Okay. We're here with you. All right. So Priscilla you and uh, Renee, we I have some lunch. And don't break any, don't, 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 don't let them break completely. Have some lunch and come back to us at one o'clock. And it's on. It's on. It's going to be an amazing afternoon. You're going to be, and, and, and our guest from India, get a nap. Just a yeah. short nap. <laughs> <laughs> Try and stay up. Thank you, thank you so much, everybody. Uh, today thank happens you. to be a yeah. Jewish festival by the name Purim. And, today, oh, okay. and also the first reading, we know how what Esther did, you know, and the Indian version of karma is the first okay. reading of today's gospel of Esther. The child died. Okay. Said, oh, oh, oh time wow. Again. So I said, I said, next we time actually, uh, one of our founding members, which was a darling, Esther, we lost her for over Christmas. Yeah, and uh, she was really something. So if this is this is about Esther, then this is yeah. this is definitely uh, us, yeah. as we would say. Today so okay, so we're going to break for lunch. Yeah, lunch is on your own, and come back at one o'clock, so everyone. Say, okay. Brian, say thank you, thank you so much, Kennedy. Thank you yeah, so bye, much, Brian. Bye, we hope you come back to you. Thank you. Oh, Godspeed. We'll we'll see you at one o'clock. <laughs>